on Timeless Performers. And you know, we didn't mention the rest <laughs> of the crew yet. Now, you know, I'm married to an editor, cameraman, and sound guy. And those are really important jobs, aren't they? Extremely important. Sound is probably one of the most important parts of a movie. Am I correct? Absolutely true, Catherine. You know, if the sound's not good, that kills the quality of the film right off the bat. And, you're and you don't want to the sit audience. there, right? Nope. Nobody wants to see a movie well, with bad sound. What if you're making a silent film? <laughs> when was the last time we did silent movies, honey? It's been a long time ago, right? Actually, there's a movie that's about four or five years old called The Artist. Oh, really? A really good film, and it's a silent film. It's a silent film. Mm -hmm. So would you like to produce a silent film? I'm, I, I would like to produce anything, quite frankly. All right. So. <laughs> All right. So maybe going to a screenwriter's class... Right? What would you suggest? I mean, let's talk about the rest of the people or we're going to be in deep trouble. Sure. Right. Right. Okay, there's a grip guy. Absolutely. We have grips and gaffers. The grips are the folks who carry things. The gaffers are the ones who hold things down. Right. Of course, we have camera people, sound engineers, uh, you know, all kinds of assistants. Obviously, our director, a first assistant director, sometimes a second and a second second even. Right. So all of them have different sets of, of jobs that they do within a set. What about lighting? Absolutely. Lighting is huge. We don't want to forget those folks. Yeah, because uh, they would probably not be very happy since they really make the movie or break it, right? Right, they wouldn't. And we don't want the unions to be mad at us. No. And tell us a little bit about SAG. Are you a SAG actress yet? No. Let's talk about SAG and the unions. Okay, sure. Non-union uh, and independence. Right, sure. So SAG after is now one union, uh, and it's it's changed the way film is done. So, but it really is is a great thing because it protects their actors. Right. So a lot of filmmakers get really scared about doing SAG films. What they don't realize is it's really just a lot of paperwork. But let me ask you this question: If you're sure. a SAG union mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. Can you be an independent? You can. There's uh, there are some legalities that allow you to be. Uh, it's something called financial core. Okay. And that's something I'm not an expert in at all. Right. Hmm. Financial core, and mm -hmm. we're going to do a program about that. I, I think right. that there are some things that people don't really understand. I think that going on to a set isn't an, maybe even uh, an investor that wants to learn about mm -hmm. it would be a good idea because Absolutely. they don't really realize how many hours you put in and you know I almost want the investors to get into a role mm -hmm. not maybe mm -hmm. of acting but being coming or following a gaff or following um, and doing some of the things that you have to do right or wrong Absolutely Getting true. Getting your hands dirty. Absolutely Rolling true. Rolling those sleeves up. The best thing they could do is become a production assistant because that is what the the normal world would the business world would maybe consider the lowest rung of the ladder but right. let me tell you those people are some of the hardest working people in the business and i think that for as even as a young actress starting out like that mm -hmm. okay and learning all the different the different roles that the roles of the actual filmmaker would be the way to really learn and I'll, and I'll tell you the reason why I'm saying that, okay? Because when I used to work in the newspaper business many years ago, mm -hmm. um, the publisher decided that he was going to change things a little bit because nobody knew everybody's role. So I said, why don't you give the interns or the new people that are coming on board that opportunity to write a classified ad, mm -hmm. to, do a, to do an advertisement, to learn how to use right. the wheel back then before we did computers. So what do you think about that one? Kelsey? Oh, well, I do think it's important to learn about all these different roles because if you don't know, these people are not going to get the credit that they deserve. As well right. as, you're not going to make the best movie ever because you're not going to know who is who and what they do. So you'd be willing to go on a movie set and do any of those roles or be an intern on those situations, am I right? Yes. Good idea? Totally. That's a great idea. And Catherine, I've actually been a production assistant on a movie. Yeah, I know. So, I get too. <laughs> and and I, I volunteered for it because, you know what, I wanted to learn. And as an actor, I wanted to see what they go through because I wanted to appreciate them properly. 
Right. One of the things I'm really big on is how well people are treated. And I'm going to make sure that on my sets, people are treated fantastically. So I want to really appreciate the effort that they put in and the stress that they're under sometimes. Yeah, it is, and especially if you have to constantly wait around for somebody or if you have to, there's something, a glitch that happens, and it happens mm -hmm. in television too. One night, <laughs> we had the electric, the new electric people on, and the electric went out because we had a storm. <laughs> Hello. So we had to start all over again. And mm -hmm. sometimes that can be really irritating. Or if a camera goes bad or right. something happens that you can't control. True. You have to have backup upon backup upon backup. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's right. So if you are someone that's thinking about becoming a movie star or any of the things that we've been talking about tonight, where do you think they should look first, Mike? Find an independent movie, become a production assistant for sure, because they're going to learn how everything works on a set. They're going to get a great understanding of how many hours are involved, how much effort's involved, and how much organization and money it takes. They're right. really, it's really learning from the ground up. Right. And once they learn that, uh, you can, it's a little bit like learning from the inside out. And once you do that, you get a true understanding of how it works. Now I want to talk about wardrobe. Who Ooh, picked your fun. wardrobe out for A Turn in the Sun? Let's just see. I, I, I don't think I remember her name. I think, I think it starts with a K. I think it starts with a K. I don't know. That, for, for Turn in the Sun? Yes. I, it, we, I got my own clothes. <laughs> you got your own clothes. Yes. <laughs> okay, Kelsey. All right, you used your own clothes. And that happens a lot of times, no matter if you're in TV or no matter if you're wherever, okay? Mm -hmm. um, same thing with makeup and hair. Who did your makeup and hair? Well, honestly, I honestly did not need any makeup or hair done because I, my character wasn't really a girl who would do her hair or makeup so the actually the director wanted absolute no makeup and nothing done to my hair except for brushing it. Okay let's talk about if they told you to cut your hair how would you feel about that? I would not be very happy. But if it was a good part you would I cut your hair? Would. Yeah you probably would. I mean think of some of the air, some of the actors that have had to shave their hair to be in sci-fi movies. And where, and sometimes, how would you like to be in a sci-fi movie where they had to, you, they wouldn't even know who you were. I mean, you were totally in character of that alien. Would you do it? Oh, yeah, that'd be fun, actually. <laughs> right. Would you play a part like that, Mike? I would. I would. And, Catherine, there's a gentleman from uh, Indiana who's been really successful playing creatures. Creatures? Yes. His name is Doug Jones, and he's had a heck of a career. I mean, you know, that's a lot of things that people don't really understand is character actors sometimes can make mm -hmm. more money than big stars, or so supposedly big stars. So I could say Joe Estevez, or Estevez mm -hmm. is one of those character actors that not only teaches, but he also has been in more films than I can even tell you, mm -hmm. right? So what did you think of Joe? He was a very, he was a very nice man. Down to earth, huh? Yes. Extremely. Short guy, though, right? <laughs> I was taller than him. Taller than him. But see, he, you know what? He's the same size as I am, which makes it even more fun, right? And I think the characters, you know who I think he would play better than anybody else? And that would be Peter Falk. To do a movie about Peter Falk and use Joe in it. Because I think that he... As a detective, he reminds me of Peter Falk. Even mm -hmm. the car he drives, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Would you say that? Totally right. Totally? totally I never totally saw right. his car. So well, I've seen I his can't car. judge. <laughs> and he likes normal little restaurants like big boy restaurants. He's right. a very down-to-earth kind of guy. You can give him anything and he's happy with it. Yes. Right? So, you know, I think that's the difference, right? Totally. So now we need to take another short break, and when we come back, we're going to talk about what your dreams and goals are and what you want to do in the future. Okay? We'll be right back on Katherine Raker's Timeless Performers with Kelsey Lee and Michael Luce.
Little children aren't the only ones afraid of the dark. Millions of soldiers return from war zones with PTSD, anger, frustration, fear, and loneliness, much of which surfaces during the darkness of the night. You have the chance to change the lives of these American heroes. Songs and Stories for Soldiers.us provides free MP3 players for these men and women. With a list of 3 million songs in 16 different styles, 100,000 audiobooks, and 30,000 old-time radio programs, every veteran can find something to soothe and comfort them at no cost. All our players contain an 8-hour audio program designed to help veterans fall asleep. With 1,500 plus vets now participating, it's our goal to deliver 10,000 audio players this year. Go to our website at Songs and Stories for Soldiers.us. Help us help a veteran make it through the night.